Stereotypical Barbie and a wide range of fellow Barbies, all reside in Barbieland. A matriarchal society where all women are self-confident, self-sufficient, and successful, while their Ken counterparts spend their days engaging in recreational activities at the beach. The Barbies hold all important job positions, working as doctors, lawyers, and politicians. Stereotypical Ken. Barbie's boyfriend is only happy when with Barbie and seeks a closer relationship. But Barbie rebuffs him in favor of independence and female friendships. During a dance party, stereotypical Barbie suddenly becomes stricken with worries about her own mortality. The next day, she finds she can no longer complete her usual routine and activities. And her hair and skin are no longer free of blemishes. She meets with Weird Barbie, a local outcast, who tells her that in order to cure her mysterious affliction, she must travel into the real world and find the child playing with her. On the way to the real world, stereotypical Ken stores away in stereotypical Barbie's convertible, arriving at Venice Beach through a portal. The pair cause multiple antics in the area, alarming the Mattel CEO. Who orders their capture? Stereotypical Barbie tracks down her owner, a tween girl named Sasha, who criticizes Barbie for encouraging unrealistic beauty standards and shallow consumerism. A distraught Barbie discovers that Gloria, a Mattel employee and Sasha's mother, is the catalyst of her existential crisis. Gloria began playing with Sasha's Barbie toys while experiencing her own identity crisis inadvertently transferring her concerns to stereotypical Barbie. Stereotypical Barbie is almost caught by Mattel's CEO and his subordinates. But Gloria and Sasha rescue her and the three travel together to Barbieland. Uddharan Chene. Meanwhile, stereotypical Ken learns about the American patriarchal system and feels important and accepted for the first time. Returning to Barbieland. He easily persuades the other Kens into taking over. The Barbies are rapidly subjugated into submissive roles as maids, housewives, and agreeable girlfriends. Arriving in Barbieland, stereotypical Barbie tries to convince Ken and the Barbies to return things to the way they were, only to be rebuffed. Sasha inspires a depressed Barbie by acknowledging the inherent contradictions of American femininity. With the encouragement of Sasha, Gloria, Weird Barbie, Alan, and other abandoned toy lines, the Barbies free themselves from the Kens and manipulate the Kens to fight amongst themselves on the Barbieland beach. After a truce, the Barbies quickly regain their systemic power, and both stereotypical Barbie and Ken apologize to one another and each acknowledge their failings. Ken bemoans that he has no identity or purpose without Barbie, to which Barbie encourages him to foster an autonomous identity. Stereotypical Barbie, who remains unsure of her own purpose and identity, meets with the ghost of Mattel co-founder Ruth Handler. Ruth explains that Barbie's story has no set ending and her ever-evolving history surpasses that of her roots. Moved by this, Stereotypical Barbie decides to become human and return to the real world. Some time later, Gloria, her husband, and Sasha take Barbie, now going by the name, Barbara Handler, to a gynecologist for her first appointment.